wanted to write a poem about a boy for the same reasons that so many people like to hate YA novels. A story about a 17-year-old girl flirting with her first taste of what she perceives to be love, being crushed by the trivial angst concocted by her half-baked teenage brain, burning her sense of urgency to grow up under overpriced coffee, taking too many baths and almost drowning every time under the bass-heavy tones of music with unreasonably low compression rates. Those kinds of things have no literary merit, so it's particularly embarrassing that I should think my many heartbreaks could possibly matter to any variety of respectable audience members. It would be bold of me to assume that this should be anything more than a journal entry to be leafed through by my future children so they can hem and haw about how silly and naive their mom used to be back in the day. It seems that if I fell for a practical stranger and let him break my heart in record time, that I would someday look back when I'm well-learned, well-versed, and not just a girl who's messing around in the limbo of ignorance that exists only before and ends in that real world they keep talking about. When I have to pay for my own health insurance and feed my Doberman pincher and yell at my kids to clean their room and tell my husband to stop leaving dirty dishes in the sink, or whatever adulthood is supposed to look like for me, then I can look back at that little girl who stayed home from school because the sorrow was too much to handle and say, how superficial, what a dumb reason to write a poem, teenage melodrama. You're right, I'll forget about the time I got to walk on air only to be mercilessly shot out of the sky, losing my breath and falling with complete stories of Flannery O'Connor all the way to the ground, landing among rats and feeling like maybe I was one of them. You can remind me of how I overreacted by smashing pottery on the deck and refusing to clean it up, and I'm sure in just a few more baths I can start to feel whole again. So wipe away your tears, clean your room, and read some Kerouac, because that's a dude who knew everything about life. I hear people leave pencils and bottles of airline whiskey by his grave. I don't think anyone's doing that for teenage girls who get their heart broken. Mm -hmm. If you can sense a twinge or more of sarcasm in my rhetoric, I applaud your ability to listen to your daughters, but if you could peel it back, you'd see the sincerity underneath, screaming for some well-deserved attention. Because it starts to get exhausting when they ask you to speak up, but the louder you yell, the more eager they are to call you hysterical. You hold back tears to be taken seriously, and when you let them out, they won't understand how cathartic it feels. I find the image of a girl being failed by her waterproof mascara to be quite charming. But it remains the unfortunate truth that no teenage heartbreak is going to end up on the AP Lit exam, so try not to waste your time thinking about it. Mm -hmm.